you have one LAN interface, you have three WAN interfaces all collected through a virtual interface which is the SD-WAN and you want to make sure that everyone in your Ubuntu LAN will enjoy YouTube in the most efficient way. You can do it in different ways. One of them is the maximized bandwidth strategy in SD-WAN. Coming up. All right, so let's move over the different ingredients in our recipe. We have different WANs. We have one, two, three WANs, all of them being aggregated into this SD-WAN interface. We also have a LAN interface, which is our Ubuntu interface. The second thing is our policy. Now, we have a basic policy, but our policy is not using a specific WAN. It uses SD-WAN, so that when whenever anyone tries to go out through the internet using uh, the SD-WAN, it will use this strategy that we have chosen, which is maximize bandwidth. The third thing is the static route. Now, here in our static route, again, the default route is our SD-WAN interface. We're not using a specific WAN. All right, so in our SD-WAN, we have those three WAN interfaces all being aggregated, and we have our performance SLA. Now, in our performance SLA, which we named a YouTube, we actually check the connection uh, directly through the Google's DNS server. We're using ping. The participants are the three WAN interfaces, and we have also chosen an SLA target. Now, the SLA target are actually thresholds, thresholds in latency, thresholds in jitter, and thresholds in packet loss. Now, each application has its own preferred threshold. You can uh, check around which one is best for your need. For example, SIP application deserves more uh, granular packet loss threshold. But currently, we're using YouTube, which is a more general purpose application, so we can leave that as it is. The second thing is the SD-WAN rule. So we've named the rule YouTube. Now, the source address is our LAN interface. We didn't choose any user group. Now, you can choose any application. Each application has its own SLA targets. In our case, we have chosen YouTube, but you can choose Netflix, you can choose Amazon Prime, and so on. The next thing is what is known as the SD-WAN strategy. Now, remember, we are not using the fastest link. We're using what is known as maximized bandwidth, which actually load balances between the different interfaces. That is, if they meet the SLA target. So the maximized bandwidth uses round robin between the different interfaces. If one interface doesn't meet the SLA target, then it will round robin between the other WAN interfaces. The second thing that you need to do is to choose the different interfaces that participate in the maximize bandwidth strategy. And the third thing is the required SLA as we actually configured in our performance SLA. So now that you have actually configured your SD-WAN strategy, you can use different diagnose commands to see the state of each interface, to see the health check. Uh, there are uh, dozens of uh, commands. Uh, Diagsys virtual link, um, health check. Now let's just uh, look for YouTube, which is the one that we have just created. We can see the different interfaces. We can see that only one interface actually um, stands or is alive, which is the uh, the when one interface. We can also use the um, when link member to see the different members. We can choose the service. 
there are different diagnose commands that you can use to look at the different interfaces, look at the different members of your SD-WAN interface, learn of the service that you're actually monitoring, the different algorithms that you're using, and so on.